Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm going to show you how I recently learned, just this last week or two, how to give a blowout with the ear wrap that I got last year. So last year in December I picked up the new Dyson hair dryer, well it's not newly released but in that Prussian blue. So all the three Dyson items I got were in that really gorgeous Prussian blue. So I picked up the straightener, I picked up the hair dryer and I also picked up the ear wrap. I had GHD products before and they were very very old and I just felt like they were damaging my hair a bit. I'd heard and seen a lot of hype about these Dyson products so I thought I would get them and I'm not disappointed. I love every single product that I've got. So my hair is still fairly damp at the moment. I'll take it out and show you what it looks like. So I am going to dry it in a minute, not fully dry it. I'll explain that in a minute and I'm going to dry it off camera. But I wanted to show you what my hair was like. So it's washed, it's conditioned and I've put in the All Bay The Straight Away Smoothing Blowout Cream. This is the one I've been using. I also use the Bumble and Bumble BB Straight Blow Dry. Both of these have heat protective properties in it. So I use either one and sometimes I use them both. I've just put this one in not long ago. And even just before I'm about to blow away my hair, I might even put a bit of this through as well. I like either one, either uh, really really lovely products so I'm going to take my hair out it's just in a very loose top knot and show you what it's like so this is what my hair looks like in most of my videos I do straighten my hair I have done a couple of videos when I've dried my hair with their natural curls and that is a video all on its own how to get your natural curls to look really lovely and to dry them so that they don't go all frizzy. So this is what she looks like. It is very curly here. It's not tightly coiled, but it is a bit of a mission in itself. I love straightening it because I love the feel of straight hair. My hair isn't dyed. I haven't dyed it for well over six years now, but I'm probably going to have to start doing that again soon because I'm starting to get a few grey hairs in, which is completely normal. I'm 52 and I'm going to be 53 this year. So even though I have lots of hair, it is actually very fine. So it tangles quite easily and having curly hair and then fine hair on top of that, that's a whole other issue to deal with because you get the frizzies anyway when you have curly hair and then you add fine hair on top of that and the frizziness becomes amplified even more. So today because I'm going to be using the ear wrap to give my hair a blowout and it straightens it but not quite as straight as the Dyson straightener I've got. The Dyson straightener gives that very slick smooth finish. This does straighten it but it looks sort of more like a blowout. But before I do that, I need to dry my hair. And I just wanted to show you one thing that I do use, the attachment with the Dyson hair dryer. As I said, I'm going to dry my hair off camera because otherwise this video would take far too long. But I just wanted to show you one of the attachments that the Dyson hair dryer comes with. So this is one of the attachments. It's a very wide tooth. It's a very firm comb and it just has a magnetic clip into the dryer and just clips in it's very easy but what I like about this if I'm going to either straighten my hair with the straightener or do a blowout like I'm going to do today with the ear wrap this is the attachment I use when you dry your hair using this comb it doesn't straighten your hair but it stretches the curl so you've already started that straightening process and I just find this really really good. It was one of the first attachments I used when I got the dryer and I use it nearly every single time that I dry my hair unless I'm going to have my natural curls and then I'll use the diffuser. Another thing that if your hair is like mine what you can do 
is wash and condition your hair in the evening and sort of 80% dry it using this attachment and if you then put it up in a really loose top knot like I had just before then when you wake up in the morning you do end up with real the curls aren't like this they end up being really big and quite voluminous and just really beautiful curls so if you wanted to do an easy way of getting a different type of curl just dry your hair with this put it up in a loose top knot overnight and in the morning when you take it out you'll have really beautiful soft big curls so now off camera I am going to dry my hair Now I'm going to dry my hair not much more than it is now I'm going to dry it to about it's hard with percentages but I would say I'll dry it so it's about 60 70 percent dry when I use the straightener I dry it down so it's nearly fully dry probably about 90 percent because otherwise as you know with a straightener you'll get that sizzle and when you're straightening and that's no good because that'll damage your hair but it's completely different with using the ear wrap so now off camera I am going to do that and then I'll be back so I've now dried my hair off a bit more using that attachment and as you can see what I was explaining how it stretches out the curl so I would say my hair is about 70 to 80 percent dry and that's really just perfect for using the ear wrap but if I wanted to have my natural curl then there's no way that I would do this this is something like out of the 70s it's <laughs> it looks very frizzy and very crazy so now I'm just going to quickly put my hair up just while I go over the ear wrap with you so that's a bit better my crazy hair is out of the way in the meantime so here is the ear wrap. I'm going to take off the attachment first. So this is what she looks like. Now this is that gorgeous Prussian blue and the bronze colour. And that's why I decided as well to get all the Dyson products at once. I missed out. They came out with uh, bronze colour all over I think the year before. And I ummed an art about it, and by the time I decided it was sold out. But when I saw they were coming out with this really gorgeous, beautiful blue, I knew I was going to pick them up. So I bought these directly from Dyson New Zealand, although Sephora did bring them out a little bit later. But one thing I did get when I ordered direct from Dyson was a comb, which I haven't got in front of me. But I did get a brush, and I actually will use this today and this is the brush that came in the set and I've been finding this really really good they're quite a sturdy brush and really good for when I'm about to use the ear wrap or when I'm about to straighten my hair but of course if I'm leaving my hair in natural curls once it's washed and I've got product in it I diffuse it but I never put a comb through it again or a brush if you want to have curls looking really beautiful but as I said before that's a whole other video on how to get curls looking really nice and not frizzy I have a PowerPoint in the corner over there in my room and I've still got plenty of cord left over has the lock button on the back to put the different attachments on You've also got here is the setting, how powerful you want it. I have it on the highest. And you've got the temperature settings. You've got the cold, medium, and then high. And when I use it for doing this, and when I use the barrels as well, I have it on the highest setting. And here is when you turn it on. And there's also, if you push it, while well, you've got it going and you push it up, it gives a cold burst of air. But it's in a really good position, so you can operate it really easily while you're holding it. You don't have to turn around and look at it. You get used to it very, very easily. It's a really easy device to use. So I just mentioned the barrels. I'm not going to show them to you today. That's a completely different video using the barrels. I've used them, and I think... They give a really beautiful beachy wave and they are just gorgeous and it works really, really well. So these are the brush attachments that come with the ear wrap. I've tried both. I tried this one and I've tried this one. 
for my hair I think it's because I have fine hair but then I have lots of it I just find that this attachment just grips my hair just that little bit better it also comes with this round brush as well and I actually haven't used this yet and I might give it a go today at the very end I'd imagine that this brush if I used it would probably give even more volume if that's what you wanted so since this is the brush I'm going to be using today it just clicks on and then when you want to remove it you pull the lever I'm just looking at the back you pull the lever down and that unlocks it and you can just replace and put on other attachments it's really user friendly to use I was quite surprised no wonder that this is just such a popular device and the other thing I wanted to mention before I get started is that I have no hairdresser training in my background whatsoever about six years ago when I did used to go to the hairdressers and get my hair colored all the time I always used to ask them at the end of it to straighten or blow out my hair just so I could have it straight for a few days and because I loved it so much I thought there must be a way that I can straighten my hair myself and I did figure out a way because there was no way I can do things at the back of my head I knew I'd never be able to do that but I watched quite and this was about like I said six years ago and I watched quite a few different YouTube videos and I can't remember which one it was this is quite a long time ago now and the one that I watched you didn't have to have your hand at the back of your head so this is the method that I use when I straighten my hair there probably may be other methods but this is the one that I use and that I've found the easiest and honestly if I can do this anyone can do this because I'm not that great when it comes to hairstyling I am very much an amateur so I've now let my hair out I always think it just looks crazy like this one of the first things I do is I grab a brush and I'm using this one at the moment and I just brush my hair all the way through and try and get out there's no knots in it because it's already combed when it was wet but there are tangles so I will brush it through just to get out any tangles that might be in there and now my hair looks even more crazier than it did before but this is the process you've got to go to to get curls into straight hair so the next thing I do is a part so I just grab a comb I have one like this and I just comb down the middle and then just roughly find a part it doesn't have to be exact or exactly down the middle and it doesn't have to be exactly straight either because sometimes mine is it and it still always works out in the end and then once I've got the part I just pull my finger through and just split it in to two and bring each side out towards the front so by doing it this way I'm always just styling on the side I never have to reach out towards the back where I can't see and I always tend to do the side first I don't know why so the side that I'm not styling I need to get that out of the way so the tie that I use to have my hair up in that top knot I just use just to tie this up loosely at the side just to keep it out of the way again there may be better ways <laughs> to keep it out of the way but this is what I've been doing for the past six years and it works for me and these are things that you probably have at home so if you have the Dyson you have a clip which I'll show you how I use in a minute I only use the one then you should be able to follow this well hopefully you will because like I said if I can do it anyone should be able to do this so when I've just got the one side free sometimes I might just run the brush through just one more time and then you need to split it off into sections now what I've found by using the air app is I don't have to split it off into as many sections as when I use the straightener with the straightener you can only put really quite a small amount of hair through it at the time it's a little bit different when using the ear wrap so as a rough guide 
I usually do one, two, about three or four sections, maybe only three sections. So the first one, I just use my thumb and it's just above my ear. And again, nothing, nothing exact. Hairdressers out there are probably looking at this saying that's not how you do it but like I said this is how I do it and it's worked for me and then the rest so this is the part I'm going to work on first this is the bit I want to keep out of the way so I just flick it over grab this little butterfly comb and pop it on there and that keeps it out of the way so I found the main thing when you're trying to blow out or straighten curly hair especially mine because like I said it's fine and it starts to tangle again really really easily so I would either run the brush through again this section or a comb either one that you have I'll just run the brush through these are the parts when I start to either straighten or use the ear app I find the hardest for me these lower bits here the rest is quite easy I always find these a little bit tricky so this is quite a big section of hair and you can't well I can't dry this much at once but if I was going to straighten my hair with a straightener I would have to go probably about that much with a straightener but with the air wrap I find I can take the section quite a bit bigger and by taking it bigger, I actually find that it grips easier in the brush as well. So with these lower sections, I do find that I can't sometimes get quite right into the hairline. But it doesn't seem to matter with the final result. So I will turn it on in a minute, but it gets quite noisy. So I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do. When I first got this and put this attachment on... I went mean, like this to try my hair. I was like, yeah, well, I won't be using that attachment again. If you want to do a blowout, you've got to go underneath. So, and you've got to hold your hair sort of quite tight. So you put the brush underneath and then you pull your hair and then run the brush through while you're pulling your hair at the same time quite straight. And then you run it through and then you keep holding, so my hair is very long, so you can't say, but you keep holding to the very end and then let it go and it will start to straighten. I usually take about two or three run throughs. So I'm going to turn it on now and I won't talk while it's going because it is quite noisy. So you can see with that part that I ran that through about three times I think it was how much smoother it is as I was saying before it doesn't go quite as sleek as the straightening iron but it is beautiful and straight and if anything it leaves a little bit more volume in and that's why you get that blowout look so I'm going to keep going and speed it up and then I'll chat to you again once I've done this half of my hair. We got a brand new day. Good love is on the way. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. Have you ever been in love? Dove in from high above And if the answer's no Well then I'd like to get to know ya And though I know These lights are blinding I will guide us on Cause I don't know what I've been told The weather outside is not that cold And if you take my hand I'll walk with you to Georgia But I see you right next to me And if you take my hand I'll walk with you to Georgia
So that is with one side done. You could always run through some bits again if you want it a little bit more straight. But as I was saying, it doesn't go as sleek as when you use the straightener. But it straightens it out and I think it gives a really nice sort of blowout type of look. A little bit more volume than you would get just using the straightener. So now I'm just going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. We got a brand new night And good love will soon arrive And when it does then come a little closer Have you ever seen the stars Burn out into the dark And as they go say It was nice to know ya So that is what it's like once it's all done. As I was saying, it's not as sleek and smooth as the straightener. It's really just like a blowout, but it's taken away all that frizz, but still left quite a lot of volume. And I think this is a really pretty look. And I was just thinking, this is only the third time that I've used this brush attachment and done this. So I could probably get even more efficient at it. But I was actually timing it this time and not with talking through the video or anything like that. But it takes about 20, 25 minutes to do. So it's pretty quick considering how much hair I've got and how long it is. Once you've finished and if you find there's still a few bits that you would like a bit smoother, just run the brush through again. It might be that your hair is still slightly damp and that's why it hasn't quite straightened out or when your hair is naturally curly, it's always trying to fight to get back to that curl again. So just run through a few bits and then you should end up getting the look that you want. The other thing with this hairstyle too is that I find I can get a couple of days out of it. So this evening when I go to bed, I always wear my hair up because I hate sleeping on my hair. But if you normally sleep with your hair down, what you can do is put it up in a very loose top knot like I had my hair when it was wet and sleep on it like that. And when you get up in the morning and take the band off, it won't be quite like this it'll be a little bit more curly but it will still have that really blown out look with just a little bit more curl because the curly hair is always trying to fight and get back to the curls so that's how I do it for 20-25 minutes work you can get a couple of days out of it and I like this look so I hope you found this video helpful like I said I am an amateur at this this is only the third time I use the ear wrap to blow out my hair and straighten it to how it's been straightened today so I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye